I'm going to give you three reasons why you should wait 90 days to build your next computer here in January of 2018. What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Geared Inc, where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. And on my channel that's PC Tech, Games, and Gear. And today we're talking about building a new computer going into 2018. Something that I see quite a lot in the forums are people who are building a PC for the first time want to make sure that they're getting the absolute best bang for their buck. They want to make sure that what they're buying now isn't going to be outclassed. You guys have to get out of that attitude because that is honestly just a marketing hype. Typically what you buy at the time you buy it is going to be good for a long period of time if you're buying at the mid to higher tier. However, there are a couple of things coming around the corner that make me feel that if you're gonna be building a new PC, you know, pump the brakes, wait 90 days. So reason number one is new CPUs. We are getting uh, kind of a first look at the next gen for Ryzen, which is their second gen or Zen Plus um, refresh of the current Ryzen CPU lineup. These are unique in that we are getting um, APUs, which are essentially the Ryzen CPU with Vega architecture on top of it, similar to how Intel has HD graphics, uh, you know, obviously integrated on the CPU itself. What that means is that there are going to be budget options for eSports in terms of what we were seeing coming out. If you're wanting to build an entry-level Ryzen build, you might be able to play uh, quite a few games at lower settings without even having to invest in a dedicated GPU, which is pretty exciting. Um, and even if we get a higher boost, there's a couple things coming out that if you are going to be building with the Ryzen side of things, you definitely want to hold off and see kind of what Zen Plus has to offer. Now on the Intel side of things, obviously they're in a world of turmoil with um, you know all the hacking that's gone on recently. Uh, with the or not necessarily hacking, but with the security flaw that allows the hack. And so, you know, they're kind of down in the dumps, but I do want Intel to have a strong showing. I want them to bounce back because we need to keep this competition going. And I say it every time, but I'm not a fanboy. So um, I know that there are gonna be potentially these eight core Coffee Lake refresh coming out. And so that offers a different variant. Obviously you're gonna have to buy a new chipset, but if you were waiting for an eight core, um, you know, variant at the consumer level from Intel, it looks like it's gonna be just right around the corner, making it uh, make sense to wait a little bit to see what these uh, companies have to offer in the next 90 days. Reason number two, GPU prices. It feels like we're deja vu or Groundhog Day because cryptocurrency is back again and I don't think it ever went anywhere, but we were getting to a place where we we're finally able to have GPU availability even if the prices were inflated. However, with the smashing increase in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other cryptocurrency, um, especially AMD stock has just been flying off the shelf again. And even on the Nvidia side, because um, those cards are typically gonna be more power efficient when mining, uh, we're starting to see huge inflation rates with them. Even at the higher end with the 1080, um, you know, GTX 1080 or the 1080 Ti, we're seeing MSRP as much as $5,200 over uh, what the actual MSRP should be, or I should say the cost over MSRP. So uh, again, over the next 90 days, there should be new stock coming in, you know, um, in, in a couple of waves, hopefully to, you know, satiate uh, enough of the miners that if the prices don't necessarily go down, there's at least more availability and more options um, than the, what's there currently. Because right now, if you want to get certain uh, GPUs, you're going to be paying through your teeth. If you want to get a handle, for instance, on Vega, if you can even find it, or on the Intel side of things, even things like the mid-range um, 1060 um, GTX are as much as $60 to $100 over price of what MSRP should be. So I definitely think it's weight holding off and seeing if those prices come down. The third reason you should wait the next 90 days is it's tax return season. Companies um, in every you know industry bank on people getting back money who honestly, if you guys wanna know, if you get money back in the year, it's because you didn't do your taxes right. But a lot of people bank on that because it's a nice little, you know, almost like a bonus at the end of the year and these companies bank on it as well. So what that means is that as far as with tax returns, uh, these companies typically will come out with deals because obviously there's a lot of people bidding on your dollars, which is good for us consumers, especially in the tech space, because typically right around mid-February, we start seeing these big deals come out of sites like Amazon and Newegg, um, as far as for, you know, the kind of tech-based things. And so it's definitely wait, uh, worth it taking, waiting to take advantage of the deals that will come out around that time, especially because if you do get a tax return, you're gonna have a little more extra money in your pocket, which is gonna give you better options if you're trying to build a new PC. So there you have it, guys. This was just a quick video to give my opinion on why you should wait 90 days here, January 2018, uh, to build a PC. Obviously, three months from now, this video will be totally irrelevant, but it's worth saying because um, it's just a question I saw popping up a, a lot, and I really don't think that there's a lot of 
value, not only with the over, you know, priced GPUs, but just components in general to building right, uh, you know, building a PC right in this moment. Give it 90 days, let it swirl around, unless your computer is absolutely fried or you must upgrade, there's no good reason to spend money you don't need to spend. You know, exercise a little bit of patience. Let's see what a uh, Ryzen Gen 2 has to offer along with the Intel with Coffee Lake Refresh and take a look at what we'll have as, you know, gamers and tech enthusiasts coming up in the next 90 days. I wish you the best um, with your new builds, regardless of what you decide to do. If you like this video, leave me a big thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and leave me a thumbs down. Get subscribed either way. My channel is continuing to grow. Thank you so much for all your support, and we hope to see you next time here on Gear at Inc.